that it was back in 1932 that the Irish Oaks was run for the very first time. And over the years, we have seen some of the great legends of the track well go on to Oaks victory. Just twice, the Oaks has been won by the same bitch on two successive occasions. Peaceful Lady and then Marina's Tina. Well, tonight at Shelburne Park, a certain bitch called Skywalker Queen will bid to make her own place in history. Winner of last year's Oaks, she's back in her favoured trap six in this year's final, bidding to win it for Ray Patterson and Francis O'Donnell. She's perfectly housed. She's going to take a fair bit of beating. Disputing favouritism with her is Dalkash Davinsky, owned by Father Jack Mead, who unfortunately is an American, can't be here to see his bitch running tonight, and she is very much deserving her position at the top. Unbeaten in the stake, going for seven wins in a row, she's a massive chance, and a lot of people will tell you that the best drawn greyhound in the race is Cartier's Dazzle, trained by Dolores Ruth, running from two, a bitch that goes up well and stays. And away they go, it's a very level start. Dal Kastavinsky is out well, so is five clear view. Kelly and on the outside six, Skywalker Queen. But around the corner is Dal Kastavinsky, the leader from five. Clear view, Kelly, Skywalker Queen in third. Heading down the far side, and it's for Dal Kastavinsky. Being challenged now by Clearview Kelly. Skywalker Queen arriving in third, but it's Dal Kastavinsky in front, being challenged by Clearview Kelly on the inside. Up the straight, Dal Kastavinsky. Here's Skywalker Queen, but Dal Kastavinsky, I think, has just held on from a powerful finishing Skywalker Queen. Clearview Kelly in third. A brilliant time, 28. 41, a fantastic Oaks final. Dalkash Davinsky and Skywalker Queen battling it out in the market and in the race itself. Well, a quite fantastic Sporting Press Irish Oaks final, won in dramatic fashion by Father Jack Mead's Dalkash Davinsky, winning by a neck from Skywalker Queen, bidding to become the well, only third bitch to win it in successive years. And a length back to number five, Clearview Kelly, which ran an absolute blinder in third. The winning time was 28.41. But this will go down in the books as one of the greatest Oaks finals of them all. Ian, mean, it's definitely something very special. You know, the Oaks uh, is a competition that's co very close to our family. You know, we came up here with Dal Visa down three years there and we got to the final we got to the final night three years in a row. She got to the Constellation final the first year, she got to the Oaks final the second year, and she got to the Oaks final again the third year, beaten by your father's bitch cool survivor. And you know, we had to wait this this lint to have a bitch good enough to take it on again, but this bitch has been the best bitch we ever had. We came here after the puppy oaks. Uh, we went a couple of rounds in the oaks, we said fair enough, you know, next year will be the, the year should be She'll be running for honours, but she's improved every round and she's done seven rounds, I said, has never been done before. It is, a, it is an incredible achievement. To be honest, I'm kind of embarrassed doing the interview with you because the, the honour is my uncle, Father Jack Mead, and he had to, be, he, he had to go to America there for, uh, a week ago and there's nothing he could have done about it. But, uh, you know, I'm just proud of everyone who he gave me the chance to, to train her for this week for the Oaks, and I'd like to thank him for that. A lot of people helped me throughout the week. My aunt was doing the feeding, uh, my cousin was helping me doing the galloping, so it was just, I'm just delighted that everything came through and that she went on to win in the night.